Well, hey guys, it's Justin. I'm here at Epcot, the Swan Song, the 2022 Food and Wine Festival. That's right, I'm not here to rope drop, I'm here to eat. There's still so much good food left I didn't get to eat, so if you're up for it, stick around for a fun day together. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you can do that right now by clicking the red subscribe button below and then click that notification bell. That way you're notified every time I release a new video like this one. And if you like this video or find it helpful, click that thumbs up icon below and share it with someone else that might like it. Finally, if you need prayer for anything, I'd be honored to pray for you. Just list your request right below in the comments. I really will pray for you. All right, what are we waiting for? Let's get in that park and start eating. Here we go. All right, we've tapped into the park and we got some weather rolling in as you can see behind me. So let's see how much we can get knocked down, how much we can consume. All right, here we go. All right, just making my way through Walcott to the World Showcase. All right, let's stop by the refreshment outpost first and check out one of my favorite dishes here. All right, here at Refreshment Outpost, I got one of my favorite things, like I said. This is the Spicy Gathiri. It's a pretty hefty portion, too. It comes with white beans, pigeon peas, Ben's Original Quinoa and Ancient Grains Medley, and a Kachumbari slaw. And it's spicy on its own, but you know I'm adding Tabasco to spice things up even more. Let's check it out. Mmm. Just like I remember. Like I said, it's a healthy portion, so definitely splittable. It's spicy on its own, so if you're heat adverse, keep that in mind, but definitely one of my favorite things around the festival. I look forward to it every year. All right, I'm gonna thoroughly enjoy finishing it, and we'll keep walking around. All right, I came by the Spain food booth next, and I got the paella. This comes with rice, chorizo, and shrimp. That definitely sounds delicious. Let's check it out. Hmm. Really good flavor and some spice from the chorizo coming through. And again, it's a hefty portion, so you can definitely split it and give you some sustenance as you're walking around the world. I really like this. All right, I'm gonna finish the joint it and we'll keep walking around. While I wait in line at the Germany food booth, we get some entertainment. All right, here at the Germany food booth, I got a couple of items. On the left is the roasted bratwurst and a pretzel roll. And on the right is the schnicknudeln. I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that, sorry about that. But it's a pasta gratin with ham, onions, and cheese. It's basically a glorified baked macaroni and cheese. And you know they're both getting Tabasco. Let's check them out. All right, let's check out the schnicknudeln first. Mm. A very rich and creamy baked macaroni and cheese. And again, it's a hefty portion. I think it's splittable, but I highly recommend this one. All right, let's check out the bratwurst next. Get a little bite of it, dip it in some mustard that it comes with. Hmm. Not bad. It's just a miniature version of the big version you can get in Summerfest, which is the quick service here in Germany, but pretty good flavor, especially with that Tabasco. I really like it. I'm gonna thoroughly enjoy finishing these, and we'll keep walking around. Here's some entertainment right here in Morocco. All right, I stopped by the Belgian food booth and yeah, it's trash can time. There are no tables available right now, but I got the beer braised beef with smoked Gouda mashed potatoes. That sounds amazing. Let's check it out. Mmm. Wow, really good flavor. I like that, thick and creamy. I think the star of the show is the smoked Gouda mashed potatoes. Can we have those for Thanksgiving, mom? I really like those. All right, I'm gonna thoroughly enjoy finishing it and we'll keep walking around. All right, I stopped by the funnel cake stand here at the America Pavilion and I got the mini pina colada funnel cake. It comes with pina colada ice cream, whipped cream, a cherry, and some coconut rum sauce. That sounds amazing. Let's check it out. Wow, that is good. Flavor spot on. Very pronounced pina colada flavor. I'll tell you, my favorite part about these desserts is always the ice cream. Really good pina colada ice cream. Probably not something you have every day. I definitely don't have it every day at home, so definitely something unique you can get here at the festival, but. Don't forget these are made to order, so it took me about five minutes to receive it once I placed the order. But I highly recommend the funnel cake stand here in the America Pavilion. Every festival they have a specialty funnel cake, and this one just happens to be pina colada, but I've never had a bad one, never had one I didn't like. So I highly recommend checking it out the next time you're here in the America Pavilion. All right, I'm gonna thoroughly enjoy finishing it, and we'll keep walking around. 
All right, here at the China Food Booth, I got the Mongolian beef bao bun with onion. Pretty self-explanatory. Not a big portion, $7.25 for this little bao bun, but let's check it out. Hmm. The beef has a really nice subtle flavor and the bun is soft and also sweet. Really good combination between the two. The beef is a bit chewy, I will say that, but other than that, not bad, I really like it. All right, I'm gonna thoroughly enjoy finishing it and we'll keep walking around. And behold, a very rare sight. The Harmonious Barges actually have the fountains running. Disney said they were gonna run during the day to help compensate for the eyesore that they are, but they're usually not on. They are right now and they're beautiful. Not the barges, the fountains. We are Well, it's not the Mariachi Cobre, but it's Viva Mexico, right here in the Mexico Pavilion. Wow. Yeah. Buen trabajo. All right, I stopped by the refreshment port and I got a very melty apple cinnamon soft serve. Unique here for the Food and Wine Festival, but I'm so intrigued about this. Let's check it out. And I got it in a cup so I don't end up wearing it, but it is melting pretty quickly as you saw. The Leaning Tower of Soft Serve. Wow, I really like that. It's not artificial tasting at all, which I was afraid it would be. It really tastes like fresh apples, like a frozen apple pie is really what it tastes like to me. You know I'm gonna thoroughly enjoy finishing this and then we'll keep walking around. All right, I came by the Appleseed Orchard Food Booth, which is here in the Canada Far and Wide attraction. And I got the apple crumble tart. One of my favorite things about this dessert is that it's actually served warm. Most of the tarts around Disney World are served chilled, but they got this one right and served it warm. Let's check it out. Mmm. So flaky, so crumbly, so good. Served warm, just like I said. I just wish I would have saved some of that apple cinnamon soft serve from refreshment port to add on top. That would have taken it to the next level for sure, but I'm gonna enjoy finishing in the last and we'll keep walking around. Here's Alberta Bound right here in the Canada Pavilion. All right, guys, tonight's Eat to the Beat concert is one of my all time favorite artists, and that is none other than Mr. Kenny G himself. My favorite genre of music is smooth jazz, so I'm definitely looking forward to this. Enjoy the clips!
not that familiar with my music, I want to let you know that this instrument is a soprano saxophone. If you did not know that. And I'll let you know this is my high school sax. So this is actually the longest relationship I've ever been able to keep together. Right, guys that is going to do it here from the 2022 food and wine festival at epcot thank you so much for joining me today and sticking around to the end what a great ending to a great festival so much good food and live entertainment and don't forget the festival of the holidays actually starts in just a few short weeks so stay tuned for my video on that if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet you could do that right now by clicking the red subscribe button below and then click that notification bell that way you're notified every time i release new videos and if you like this video or found it helpful go ahead and click that thumbs up icon below and share it with someone else that might like it all right everybody until next time stay well stay safe and god bless Bye for now. 
and did all drink the same spiritual drink, for they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Christ.